Welcome back everyone to HSAA TV Weekly. We are now excited to welcome to our program Florence tennis coach Jack Russevelin with athlete Ty Doe. Welcome guys. Hey, how are you doing? Doing Glad great. To excited to talk to you all today and a little bit about tennis. Uh, the, the tournament that leads to the state championship is now underway. So coach, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about this team and your success so far this season. Well, this is I'd probably say just in terms of pure talent, one of the best Florence boys teams to come through um, and a pretty young one at that. Uh, we're obviously playing at 7A, so this is a whole new challenge than most other Florence teams before. We've been in 7A a few years now, but this is uh, the first time our boys team has made it to the state tournament at this level. Uh, and it just all goes back to this senior leadership from Ty. He's the, the one senior and the captain, and he's been kind of the top dog for a few years now. Uh, so he's helped along um, a pretty young team. We have one junior, two sophomores, two freshmen. So uh, a pretty pretty diverse and young team, but uh, it all goes back to our, our number one player uh, at the top there, uh, who's just been been very good um, mentoring these young guys, pushing them, and they and they want to they want to be great as well. So it's been really fun to watch them change from last year when uh, finishing fourth in the section and uh, just kind of knowing that the time wasn't right yet to this year, um, looking a lot more confident and playing some of the best tennis I've seen. Well, Ty, let's shift over to you. Tell us a little bit about your history in the sport of tennis. How long have you been playing? Uh, so I started hitting when I was four with my dad. We just go out there and hit uh, just for fun, just for a little bit. Uh, I didn't start playing competitively till I was 13. It's about seventh grade, I think. So. I've been playing since seventh grade to now, uh, all tennis. And how do you feel like you really fit into this team as a leader on this team? Um, I'm not quite sure. I just try to lead by example. Uh, I try to show them uh, what is expected of us as a team and as individuals and how we should hold ourselves to represent our school as best we possibly can. And maybe this question for both of you, how do you feel like Florence High School has really come around this tennis team and, and supported you on your, your journey toward the state champion? Um, you wanna go first? <laughs> um, I, think, I think up until this year, our school didn't really, uh, wasn't too sure about our tennis team. Like if you ask most people about our school, they might say we're like a baseball school or something like that. Tennis until this year hasn't been like a uh, ton of big news, but I think this year we've made a lot of noise. So I think I think that's good for us. Yeah, I'll I'll go off on that as well. Um, I I play I went to Florence, grew up in Florence as well. So it's been really cool for me to come back and coach the team that I played for. And I feel like you know back back in the day, um, you know it was it was pretty cool. A lot of people rally around the tennis team, and to see that now again, I think it's even at a at a bigger level since we are seven A. So more people and just having the support that I didn't, uh, you know, I had good support when I was a player, but I feel like it is now, it's been turned up a notch in terms of uh, the students, the other athletes on other teams, them just being supportive and invested. The other coaches have been very great to me. And I know to uh, some of our players, the teachers, you know, they, they look forward to hearing about how did we do against, um, you know, a section opponent? How did we do at sectionals when the state start, you know, and they're keeping up with it. They're very invested. Uh, so it's very cool to see them. A lot of them might not know a lot about the actual ins and outs, the rules of tennis, but they just, all, you know, they're still just invested, though, and, and yeah, like seeing us do well. Yeah, it's, it's very fun that they just are happy to see us succeed. So that's been very cool. Yeah, that is one of my favorite things about high school sports is how the whole school and community surrounds, you know, whatever team may be in season and, and everybody really comes together. Well, Ty, let me jump back to you. What are some of your future plans and goals uh, on and off the tennis court? So uh, next year I'll be attending Auburn University studying mechanical engineering. Uh, I probably probably won't be playing tennis there, but uh, I might play some club, play with my friends here and there. But uh, I think my main focus is going to be uh, – school. Well, coach, I want to circle back to something that you mentioned a minute ago. You talked about your experiences as a player and a coach in the sport of tennis. Um, how do you see how the sport of tennis has grown in the state of Alabama over, you know, your, your experience participating and then coaching the sport? 
Oh, it's a it's a whole new ball game, and I I really it wasn't too long ago. It feels like it's getting further and further away now, but it wasn't too long ago that I feel like I was a player and in, in, in his shoes. He's way better than I was, but um, but it has grown by leaps and bounds, uh, and I think that is so good because it is so much fun to watch the level of play, and again, especially at the seven A level, is just astronomically difference than it's been uh five ten years ago especially you're seeing some very high quality tennis at um at the high school level and i think we're one of uh you know you see good tennis in some of the other states as well but i would contend that you see some of the best high school tennis here in alabama um at the prep level and so that's very encouraging to see and i only anticipate it getting better well, Coach Russ Evelyn and Ty, thank you so much for joining us today. We wish you all the best in the 7A State Tennis Tournament in Mobile that's coming up. And we will be right back after this on HSAA TV Weekly.